The SCP Foundation is a terrifying fictional cornucopia of creepypasta, science fiction horror and psychological mimetic musings. Since its inception in 2008 over on the paranormal x on 4chan, it has completely captivated us as horror fans for its incredible propensity to bring together some of the most creative budding minds in horror. We love it. You love it, so let's take a look at some of the best of the best in the SCP Foundation. Hello horror fans and once again welcome back to the Scariest Channel on YouTube Top 5 Scary Videos. As per usual I'll be your horror host Jack Finch as we dodge a few memetic kill agents, clear ourselves through the O5 Council and curiously take a look at the Top 5 Highest Rated SCPs. Roll the clip. For the curious amongst you, that clip was from season 1 of Stranger Things because, come on, what better way to visually represent the SCP Foundation than with Hawkins' lab? Wait a minute, maybe they were part of the SCP Foundation all along. Interesting. Kicking off at number 5, SCP-055. And conceptually, SCP-055 is so damn interesting that it's testament to... Wait, sorry. What was I saying again? As a member of the SCP's heritage collection, as in the OGs of the entire collection, SCP-055 has been around since the beginning, yet still, no one can quite decipher exactly what it is. We'll give it a go though, before the memetic agent kicks in. SCP-055 is a key to class anomalous entity which is best described as a self-keeping secret or an anti-meme for all intents and purposes. It is an entity that shortly after viewing it, no one can remember exactly what it is. Its physical appearance as well as its nature, behaviour and origins are self-classifying and after a few minutes of exposure to 055, all information about it will be forgotten. The real fear behind this one is that it could be completely and utterly harmless or one of the most terrible possible threats to mankind. SCP-055 is kept in a cement room surrounded by a Faraday cage and an automatically locking door and... Wait, sorry, what was I... What was I talking about again? Coming in at number 4, SCP-087. And this is one of my favourite entries in the whole of the SCP Foundation that we've managed to cover quite a few times in our previous lists. Hey, there's a reason why it's the 4th highest rated SCP ever, right? Also known as the Stairway from Hell, SCP-087 is a Euclid class object that is essentially a stairway that goes on and on forever. Well. Maybe. No one has ever found the end. As the record states, SCP-087 is located on the campus of an unknown university, locked behind a doorway consisting of reinforced steel with an electro-release lock. On four occasions, the Foundation has sent D-Class personnel on an expedition into SCP-087, which increasingly yielded more and more terrifying results. In all cases, each subject has encountered what is known as SCP-087-1, which appears as a face with no visible pupils, nostrils or a mouth. The nature of it is entirely unclear, but it's pretty damn horrific. The thing that makes SCP-087 so good is that it perfectly captures the fear of the unknown. The Foundation has tried time and time again to apply the scientific process to this anomalous entity, but no effort has ever yielded a productive result. Give this one a read because it's science fiction horror at its best. We'll leave a link down below. Swinging in next at number 3, SCP something 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 J. <sighs> Why even bother, right? SCP whatever J is an unspecified anomalous object that is, well, it's a rock that's probably mimetic or something. Essentially, it's a rock that makes you procrastinate and it's sitting in a box over in Dr. Vang's office who couldn't even find the motivation to properly fill out the containment form for the particular item in question. Yeah. Obviously, under the influence of the rock or whatever. In all seriousness though, SCP blank J falls into the realm of the many joke classed SCPs because as well as being a body of horrifying fictional work, the SCP Foundation actually has a pretty astute sense of humour as well. Which is nice to see really because you can't have emotional tragedy without some comedy. Right? Light and shade, peaks and troughs, it balances out pretty nicely. Yeah, there's not much more to say about this one other than it has over 2700 upvotes on the Foundation site, making it the third highest rated SCP of all time. Go figure. Next up at number 2, SCP-2521, which technically I shouldn't have said that out loud because, well, yeah, bad things are going to happen now. Sorry folks. Good job I've got a healthy supply of clones though. 
Eh? 2521 is actually one of the most creative items ever written for the foundation and it came into existence after being written as part of the SCP short works contest in which entrants had to write an SCP using as few words as possible. This one was the winner using a total of zero and only being described through picture format. That's awesome, right? Essentially, 2521 is a key to class anomalous entity that exists to steal information about itself. If you write something down on a piece of paper about it, it will teleport through the fabric of space and time and take the paper. If you say something about it out loud, it will, it will take you. Oh no. All right, sorry about that. However, these events do not occur for pictures, which is precisely why this particular SCP is written entirely through picture format. Even its name is in Morse code to signify what it is. No one knows why it does this, and we probably may never know, but yeah. You've been warned. And finally, our number one spot, SCP-173, which may please you all to know is the first SCP ever created, and rightfully so. It comes in at the highest rated SCP of all time with currently 4,340 upvotes. He's the guy that spawned the whole fictional organization, and since then, he's maintained the top spot as the most iconic SCP of all time. Although that technically doesn't mean SCP-173 is the scariest entry in the Foundation, far from it in fact, but still, it's got some pretty terrifying weight behind it. As the record states, SCP-173 is a Euclid class that essentially is an inanimate yet extremely hostile statue constructed from concrete and rebar. The object cannot move while within a direct line of sight with an individual, and line of sight must not be broken at any time with SCP-173. So much so that personnel assigned to enter the container are instructed to alert one another before for blinking, which would make a pretty horrifying horror scene, right? Oh wait, Doctor Who already used it, damn weeping angels. If you break line of sight, SCP-173 is reported to attack by snapping the neck at the base of the skull or by strangulation. The thing is though, what makes the Foundation so scared of SCP-173 is in its ability to produce copies of itself, which could potentially result in an XK class extinction event, with the population of the planet ending up with a snapped neck. Not good. Not good at all. Well, there we have it folks, our list for the top five highest rated SCPs. Let us know your thoughts in the comment section down below. Before we depart though, let's read out some of your more creative comments from the past few days. First up, Cryo Anubis 7 says, another version of you, it has been confirmed that Jack is a clone. Wow, yeah, no point beating about the bush, buddy. You know what I say about clones, if you've got them, use them. Just an old tip I picked up back in my old days at the SCP Foundation. Ah, sorry. Probably, probably shouldn't have said that. Michael Cooley says, well done, always the best Jack. I would love to see a video on haunted UK locations, Raynham Hall, the horror at 50 Berkeley Square, Rams Inn, Tower of London, etc. Be nice to hear a list from someone who's lived there. Also, which do you prefer, UK or Canada? Cheers. Wow. Cheers to you, Michael. Incredibly kind words, buddy. They're very much appreciated. Also, that is an awesome suggestion, one that I've wanted to cover for quite a while, so I'll see what I can do. As to the UK or Canada question, well, I love Canada and I'm thoroughly enjoying my time here in this beautiful country, but I have to pick the UK, mainly for the cheese and the ale. Hey, I'm pretty easy to please. Deported. <laughs> Well, unfortunately, horror fans, that's all we've got time for in today's video. Just stick around all the way until the end. If you're a fan of this video, make sure to be a deer and hit that thumbs up button, as well as that subscribe bell, and we'll be seeing you in the next one. As per usual, I've been your horror host, Jack Finch. You've been watching top five scary videos, and until next time, you take it easy.